Alrighty, so hey there everybody, welcome back to another gameplay from Get Online. My name is Max Mask. If you haven't already, just go ahead and subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and with that, let's get into this. So the first thing you want to do for the Kraken boss is you want to buy your items. You're probably going to need 40 plus blood pills and range tools. If you're a sand, go ahead and grab your fan. The reason why you want to grab like so many blood pills and not toad oils, like basically anything that can heal you as you're running around, is because when you're fighting the boss, you have to keep moving, like at all times. If you stop for a second and it flickers to you and it hits you, it's going to do a lot of damage to you, either a third or a quarter of your health if you're high level. And if you're not high level, then well, you're just going to get clapped. Alrighty, so the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the Kraken and drag it to one side. You want to drag like all of its tentacles and the Kraken body to one side. It doesn't really matter matter which side you go to. You can either drag it to the left side or the right side. If you drag it to the left, you can use the no zone to the right to use the NPC to heal yourself or just like sit there and not be killed. Or if you drag it to the right, of course, you'll still be vulnerable, but either way, it doesn't matter because you're going to be there a while. And as long as nobody comes to kill you or nobody finds you, you can just sit there and regen anyways. So it, it really doesn't matter which side you drag it to, just you gotta bring it to one side at least. And the way you want to do that is when you enter the room, you want to like run diagonally, right? So you don't want to run left and right, up and down really, because they can still hit you. But if you run diagonally, some way, somehow, the Kraken just can't hit you. So when you're grabbing it, run diagonally and then exit the map. Alrighty, so after you go ahead and take the boat, you want to enter the Kraken map. You want to like enter the side where the Kraken is not at. And once you get in there, you want to press shift to walk to make sure that when you're grabbing the tentacle, you only grab one and not two. It does happen pretty often for me, or it did happen pretty often for me, where I'd go like walk towards the tentacle or run for say. And I would think I'd only grab one, but then here flicker is like two different tentacles. So what I like to do is just shift walk and then just like walk it over there, grab your one tentacle and then shift, press shift again to run back and then run diagonally like crisscross I guess back to um, decide where the Kraken body is not at. So basically you're pulling the one tentacle away from the Kraken like to where you can access it but not the entire body. And then after you go ahead and do that, just go ahead and exit the map again. Of course, when you grab the tentacle, you're probably going to get hit. I mean, I, I normally get hit once or twice. Usually just once. Um, you want to go ahead and heal. If you're at the NPC, go ahead and use the NPC to heal. If you're not, then it's like a minute and a half to heal. Like, it's, it's not long. Again, you're going to be here for a while. Alrighty, so after you finish healing... You're going to go ahead and enter the map and you're going to start fighting that one tentacle thing, right? So you're going to run in either a giant circle or you're going to run in figure eights. For me, I was running in circles at first, but then I kept getting hit for somehow. I didn't even like understand what was going on. But then I started running figure eights, which it, it sounds kind of weird. But for me, when I run a figure eight, it kind of forces me to get a larger distance away from the Kraken. And when I run in circles... It's just, it just, it seems to me that I wasn't making too big of a circle or maybe when I was rounding my corners, corners, it just TP'd to me and then hit me that way. Again, I'm not too sure as to what the, the really big difference is between the two of those strategies, but what you want to do is I say run, just run, run figure eights because it's easier. So basically you're going to run figure eights around the tentacle. You're going to make sure you don't like run within melee range of the tentacle. And um, again, use your range tools, use your fan to go ahead and, and kite the tentacle. It's going to teleport to you, but when you're running your figure eights, you need to run in diagonals. Like, again, it sounds weird, but you literally need to make an eight running diagonally. And doing that, you're not going to get hit at all, really. I mean, I barely got hit, but again, you bought blood pills so then you can heal yourself while you're running around. That, that was the whole point of it. If you use toy oil, and you stand still for like two seconds, you have a chance of being hit, obviously. Like, you do not want to stay still. Like, for me, my last tentacle, it literally came down to the fact that I deflected a hit, and that gave me, like, 
that basically gave me time or a chance to go ahead and kill the tentacle. It literally came down to that. And every tentacle, it took me about, let's say, eight to nine minutes each to kill on my own. Like it was, it wasn't easy, and it's kind of lengthy, but like you don't, you don't want to like decide not to use a blood pill. The next thing you know, you're you're dead, and you gotta walk that ten minutes, and then fight it for another nine, like twenty minutes of work, really. So every, after every time you get hit, just go ahead and top off your health. Don't even like. Don't, don't even try to be like the big guy about it. Just go ahead and heal up. So basically, those are all the steps you need to go ahead and do cracking by yourself. It's, it sounds difficult right off the bat, but I'm gonna be honest with you, it's a lot easier than you think. You just gotta get in there, you gotta experiment a little bit, you gotta try, and then I think, I think it'll do fine. So with that, that is all for today, everybody. Please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon. That for now, mask on.